Speed ramping is a very important part in cinematography. Have you ever wondered that how Peter McKinnon, Sam Coulter, J.R. Ali, Matty Hapoya and all these people how they get this seamless kind of transitions in their videos. So most of it consists of speed ramping only. They don't depend on zoom transitions and all those transitions. They, of course, they definitely use them but most of the transitions are shot directly from the camera and directly speed ramped in the post processing and that's all. And that's what gives this epic kind of a feel while we watch their videos. So shooting speed ramping is a very simple process and it is pretty much anyone can do this. So to show this I'm going to use my phone because my camera is used for recording. So all you need to do is, let's say you are shooting this. So while panning like this, just sweep your camera all the way to the right hand side if you are moving on the right hand side. And for the next footage, and if your footage is ending on the right hand side then make sure to start shooting from the left hand side like this and then swoop in and then shoot your main thing and then stop recording. So what we are doing in speed ramping is a certain portion of clip is being fast forwarded while the other part is being slowed down and it is done in the second clip also. So if it is fast forward the later end of the first clip and the first end of the second clip then it will create an epic kind of a transition effect and I call this the speed ramping transition. So this is pretty simple and anyone can do this. All you need to do is make sure that the direction of the camera movement is same. What I mean by this is that when the movement of the camera is on the right hand side for the first clip for the second clip also, it should be on the right hand side. If it is on the upper hand side, then it should be upper hand side for the second clip also. Unless and until you are making that kind of effort where you are going from right to left, from right to right, from right to left. If you are not trying to bring that kind of effort, then make sure to keep the direction of the video same. Like from right to right for both the clips and from left to left for both the clips. And make sure to speed up the ending of the first clip and the first end of the second clip so that you guys can combine them in your post processing. So as usual, I have made this effect for both Final Cut Pro and for Premiere Pro. So if you are going for Final Cut Pro, then skip to this portion. And if you are going for Premiere Pro, then skip to this portion. And with that being said, what's up guys, Pixel Sammy here. Welcome to my newest video. I hope you guys are having a great day. And let's just start it. Okay, so now I am going to show for Final Cut Pro. And these are the two footages which I have taken. The first one is such a way that the later end of the clip is very fast. And the second clip is such a way that the first end of the clip is very fast. Ok, so now what you need to do is you need to place markers at that particular position where you need to just increase the speed. Like around here. And for the second clip also where you are increasing the speed and just stopping right around here. Right around here. Just place the markers. Now originally these are in their 100% speeds. So what you need to do is you need to go to the position of the marker and press shift plus B. And then go to the position of the marker of the second clip and press shift plus B again. And then you will see this. And you will see a slider kind of thing for the first clip. And that is actually the graduation process. So if you edit that, then the more gradual the speed ramping effect will be. So my best suggestion is that, that increase the speed of the speed ramp to around 500% or 600%. And then it will be much more better. And slow down the other parts so that it creates a more dramatic kind of effect. So le just let it render. Like play it around. Okay, so now you will see that it is a bit choppy because it is not rendered yet. So my suggestion is that take your own time in doing this and let it render and make sure to shoot it in around 30 fps or 60 fps so that when you slow down the middle portion it looks really really good. So that is pretty much it for Final Cut Pro. And I have just edited with some more other clips and created a cinematic sequence for you and this is that. Okay, so now I'm going to show for Premiere Pro. And these are the two footages which I have taken. The first footage is such a way that the later end of the first clip is very fast. And the second clip is in such a way that the first end of the second clip is very fast. So now what you need to do is you need to select both of the clips, you need to time remap both of the clips in such a way that the speed is remapped in both of their clips. So for that particular position, what you need to do is you need to choose both the clips first. So just choose the clip. Right click. So clip keyframes, time remapping and then speed. And then do that for the second one also. 
and then place a marker at that particular position where you need to just start the speed ramp in and do the same thing for the second clip as well right around here place the marker right click time remap in speed okay so for better reference just increase the size of the layer like this you will see a line in between both the clips so what you need to do is press P and then you will see a pointer kind of a thing and then click the pointers on the position where you place the markers like this and then select the line and then drag it up and then you will see a kind of a thing where it, the speed is increasing like this like around 500% like around 400% like this and the audio is not required so you can play with whatever you feel like and do the same thing for the second one also select the center line and drag it up and you will see the speed is increasing like this and then drag it on this part and then after dragging it you will see grey arrows on top of both the clips and then drag it on the right hand side and you will see this this is for the gradual process of speed jumping like not directly from 100% to 500% it is a gradual process and then you can play with this to make a more gradual more sliding kind of a speed jumping effect like this you can play with it by selecting it and dragging it left or right and do it for this one also drag it right or left and then you will see more gradual speed ramping and then you can play with the sliders also to make a more gradual speed ramping and this is the final result and that is pretty much it thank you so much for watching guys hope you have liked the video if you are someone who is interested in cinematography photography and filmmaking then join in my channel it's the right 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 thing for you to do so come let's join our hands and expand our family as much as we can and do let me know in the comment section down below about what you are creating today. Peace.